Woody Womack joined by Chad Simmons. Chad, North Carolina caps off their 2021 class for the addition of Florida DB Dante Balfour. This is a guy that we thought was headed to Auburn before the coaching change. He delays and he ends up picking the Tar Heels over LSU and Auburn. A huge addition for them at this point in the process. It is, Woody. I, I really think he's, you know, I hate to say it because I help rank him, but I think he's kind of underranked. I mean, you know, I got in late with Florida. He's kind of a late, late name in the process. And going back and watching his tape and then seeing him in person, just his body, his length, the athleticism, um, it's a big miss for Auburn. Obviously, it happened because of the coaching change there. I mean, he, he was locked in. He got committed to Auburn. He was done. He was going to sign. He held off. And he thought about Auburn still late, too, but just connected with Mac Brown, Dre Bly, those guys in Chapel Hill, and the chance to play and, like he said, learn from a guy like Dre Bly, who's been there, done that at the highest level, really sold him in the end of North Carolina. Yeah, and they've, they, they've had some ups and downs defensively. We know they need to add more talent there. Uh, and, do you, and you mentioned you ranked him too low. You just said, <laughs> so do, do you think he can come in and be a nice cog in their defense? Yeah, I mean, I think he's definitely a raw talent for a guy like Dre Bly to work with, to develop, to mold in the kind of player that he wants. But you watch his tape and then, you know, I go see him in person and you see, you know, a kid that's like 6'2", super long arms. You see him making plays at receiver in high school. Then he's picking passes off on defense. I mean, you see his body type and the twitch there and the way he can run away from people on the offensive side. And I think – Carolina has to be extremely excited about the potential of Balfour. He's a kid that, uh, you know, wants to learn. He, he wants to get better. He's going to add weight. Uh, he's going to definitely improve fundamentally and technically at defensive back. And uh, to me, he's got a lot of potential, just his body type, the raw talent, the athleticism. I, I do. Again, if I could go back and do it again and had more time to evaluate, I think he would be a four star for us on rivals. I definitely say that with confidence. So I'm not sure if he's a guy that comes in and plays and makes a big impact right away. He needs some time, I think, to develop. I think the upside is what you have to be excited about if you're a Carolina fan. All right, so a nice addition for North Carolina. Be sure to check out Tar Heel Illustrated for more Tar Heel signing day coverage. Thank you, Chad.